Michael Jolfi from Microsoft. Thanks for joining me today. Oh, thank you. Very nice Good to meet to you. Likewise. You just kind of did you just finish your breakout session recently today? Yeah, I just today? did. Uh, we actually we had the breakout session yesterday. It was about uh, sort of leveraging uh, PHP on Windows uh, from a hosting provider standpoint. Okay, can you expand on that? Like, how, how are you doing that? How are you leveraging PHP? Sure. Uh, well, um, you know, essentially, PHP has been uh, you've been able to run PHP on the Windows platform for quite some time. But over the past year or so, we really had some pretty interesting advances uh, with. Um, Specifically with Windows Server 2008 and IS 7, we've shipped a module called FastCGI, which allows you to uh, install and run PHP uh, directly on the Windows Server platform. And that's just basically shipped um, out of the box, so you can do it directly with Windows Server 08. And we also have other plugin modules for IS 5.1 and IS 6 that allow you to sort of leverage PHP on the Windows platform. Um, but when we look at PHP on Windows, it's really more than just uh, Windows Server components. Uh, last year, we released something called the SQL Server driver for PHP, which allows you to take a PHP application and now you have the option to write against either MySQL or SQL. So we feel like that it allows the customers and ISVs and different partners to actually extend their PHP applications in ways that they haven't been able to before. And can you give me an example of how they can extend their PHP application? Sure, so it's really simple. So for example, with uh, Windows Server 2008, you can run any PHP application. Let's say you have a WordPress uh, application okay. that you want to log in, they want to write on there. And using the uh, IS7's integrated pipeline, you're able to drop in .NET modules directly onto the, directly on top of the, uh, the application so that now you have a, a more, sort of more secure, let's say WordPress, uh, secure sort of source of relative, but at least there's a way for you to authenticate into your, into your blog. So you don't have to you know, write any kind of custom code. You can just add, you know, that there's thousands of different .NET modules that are out there, and using IS7, you're able to drop those modules right onto the particular PHP application and extend the, the, uh, sort of extend the functionality of PHP. Okay, and so it's a kind of a simplification for people, would say? Or? Um, it's, it's not so much a simplification. I think it's, uh, you know, with, with IS7 and Server 8, it's, it's easier to get PHP up and running on the Windows platform. Okay. So I sort of I see it more as a uh, you sort of you can extend and enhance your experience with, with, with PHP using .NET components, uh, using the SQL pieces, and then when you also look at PHP and Windows overall, uh, PHP and Windows is more than just SQL and Windows Server. Uh, you can take live services and integrate live services into a, any PHP application. You can leverage Silverlight. You can leverage uh, Expressions Web 2 to uh, edit uh, PHP web pages. You can use Expressions Web to integrate live services and uh, Silverlight into, into your application as well. And back even at, you know, we're just looking at things in, in the cloud as far as Azure goes. Back at PDC, we actually showed a demo of a uh, PHP application that was utilizing the data services layer of Azure to essentially control the data back and forth in an application. So, that's becoming a sort of more, more advanced as well. So kind of the real, you know, the takeaway for the folks over the session is that when you think about PHP and Windows, it's, it's really more than just a server component. It's really we have a full breadth of products that enable you to, to use PHP effectively, efficiently, and really extend your uh, your, your reach. And if you say you reach me, you know, there's, we already have a lot of Microsoft uh, developers, and it's just a way for them to, to leverage in that community and leverage from their, their existing skills. And so if you're already a PHP developer, you can very easily take like I said, pre existing modules and drop them on top of the PHP application and add an additional functionality to it. Cool, it sounds like you're really moving forward with this. Yeah, you know, I think we are. The past year, it's been really interesting. We're actually getting a lot of traction from the core PHP community. Uh, we So up until about a year ago, we really didn't have a group that was really focused on, on PHP and Windows with regards to the core PHP community itself. But in the past year, we have uh, you know two, uh, two main contributors. There's about seven sort of other folks that are involved pretty deeply to make sure that PHP and Windows work uh, you know, as, as best as possible. Getting really uh, interesting uh, press feedback from you know, InfoWorld, from uh, a couple of the other sort of trade journals around kind of our uh, outreach to the PHP community. And a few other things that, that people probably don't know about is that we actually contributed uh, code for patches back to a couple of uh, you know, open source projects. So, so one example is ADODB, mm -hmm. and another example is an application called PHPDB. So well, what that means is that if you're, if you're writing a new application utilizing ADODB, 
what we did was we, we allow now, so we're using that SQL Server driver from PHP, we can now extend that framework, so now you have a choice, either you can write against MySQL, or you can write against Microsoft as a SQL as a database backend. So now any new application that is written on top of that framework, the ADODB framework, you have a choice, and then you can sort of, so if you go down towards the MySQL route, so be it, however, if you want to go into the Windows uh, arena, you can now leverage reporting services and business intelligence and other sort of the rich um, functionality of SQL that will work on top of, the, of your application. So once again, it's all about extending the reach and enhancing the functionality of the HVM application on top of Windows. Excellent. Wow. It's, it's really interesting. I've enjoyed chatting to you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you, you so much time. for coming by. You too. Thank and you. Uh, enjoy, well, I'd say enjoy your time in Seattle, but you're from here. Well, you I'm live here. here. Trying to enjoy the weather. Well, it's, uh, well actually, today is it's a pretty bad day today, but this past week has actually been pretty decent. So. Cool. Well, winter's much. basically done, right? More or less. Well, actually, well, summer doesn't really start until, I think, uh, mid-July, so I think we've got some time. Yeah, I know. But, like, when does, when does it stop being cold and, like, rainy in Seattle? July. July, really? July. It's basically rainy or summer. It, it's yeah. It's I think we get we have about a season and a half, and the half season is summer, and the rest of it is the rain. And there you go. Yeah. Well, it's been great chatting to you. Likewise, thank, thank you. Thank you, Michael. Take care. You too. Oh, you're cool.